said. When Sherlock Holmes' ingenious man pursued his strange career, we followed his deductions with an interest sincere. Although in his time his victories monotonous became, we must admit that since he quit work, life's never been the same. He always kept his wits on tap. He always had a clue. He always could foretell just what a criminal would do. A bit of string, a button, a strand of hair on a coverlet made up the only evidence that Sherlock Holmes need get. And when he bagged his man and had him safe behind bars, he'd tell the tale to Watson over coffee for two hours. His friend Watson then would spin a yarn from the details of the case and label it the Tonkin Three or Mystery of a Face. We have detectives who are shrewd, detectives who are wise, detectives who, like M. Lecoq, are experts at disguise. We have detectives whose brave deeds would fill a dozen tomes, but never one that can compare with Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Dupin's Rue Morgue deductions we today vote rather slow, for Sherlock would have solved the case in half a day or so. The novels of Gaborio, the tales of Mrs. Green, were tossed aside when Sherlock Holmes appeared upon the scene. So here's to Sherlock Holmes, and may his glory never dim. And here's to his friend Watson for his faithfulness to him. And here's to Conan Doyle, may he attain the prophet's span, and all his life just right of Holmes, that great and noble man.